Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're watching a video about a person who's getting their private parts removed so that they can identify as a genderless alien. This person's from LA, so that basically explains it. 23-year-old Vinny O is making it his mission to become a real-life alien. But why? Why would you want to be an alien? Like, I swear aliens are, like, really big, bad, and scary. If I ever see an alien, I'm gonna run in the opposite direction. My goal in regards to my look is to become an exact scientific proportioned sexless human being. Okay, well, I don't know what he's trying to look like because he certainly doesn't look like an alien to me. I mean, come on, Vinny, what's going on here? You literally look like Jeffree Star if you got a bit too much Botox and, like, I don't know, turned into a smurf. He doesn't look like an alien. Like, I don't think these people actually know what aliens look like. It's kind of like whenever girls it's like, oh, I wouldn't look like a Barbie doll, but then they have the biggest boobs and biggest lips ever. Last time I checked, Barbie was skinny. Vinny grew up in a small town in Oregon, never feeling like he quite belonged. So at age 17, he packed his bags and went in search of new adventures. And he somehow turned into an alien. I mean, I think it's interesting, but I just want to know how he's going to do it. A lot of times I feel like these people purposely do it for attention. I moved to LA at a really young age and moving here, everything was always about sex appeal. Exactly. And that's like not good. Like a child shouldn't be around that. That's why like so many childhood stars are messed up. Everyone always wonders why celebrities are like really mentally ill and it's because they literally moved to LA at a young age. Why would you ever want to move to a place like that whenever you're 17? And when I think of alien, I think of like ugly. So you're literally getting surgery to look ugly. I mean, yet again, I don't know if he knows an alien looks like because he certainly doesn't look like one. He just looks like an Instagram influencer. Aliens don't really have genders, in my eyes at least. I mean, you don't know that. Like, aliens could have genders. No one's ever met an alien, have they? Or people claim they have. They could have willies. They could be non-binary. Aliens might not even exist. Since moving to LA, Vinny has found new motivation and belonging in his pursuit of alien perfection. But what if I thought was an alien? Did you just say that I had the blur of private parts could have shown a bit too much skin? Like, what about that has to do with an alien? And I mean, if we look right here, if he's hanging out with people like this and that, it basically explains it all to me. How do I put it into words? These are basically the people here addicted to surgery. To get my alien look, I spent around about 60,000. 60,000 on what? On what may I add? He just looks like someone who's got a load of filler. Yet again, I feel like a lot of times these people do stuff like this for attention because they know they'll get attention. If you're literally claiming you're going to cut your body parts off to become an alien, people are going to look at you and give you attention. I feel like it's just like the typical twink he just, you know, wants views online. I mean, if he gets like his privates removed, how's he going to pay? He's not going to pay out of his mouth, is he? I've had around about 110 procedures. But what? What type of procedures? I mean, yet again, if you look at him, he literally just looks like someone with a load of Botox and like fluffy hair. You haven't went and got filler 60 times, have you? But now Vinny wants to push his plastic surgery journey even further to where no man or woman has ever gone before. Exactly, and it should say that way. If people haven't went there, please don't do it. I mean, I just don't understand. Like, I don't understand why people would ever do that to themselves. It's quite sad, isn't it, how people will literally ruin themselves for attention, money, and fame. I mean, I really hope these doctors say no. I'm looking to have gender unassignment. I'm looking to change my genitals so that way there is nothing there. Just maybe like a hold to pee out of. But I just don't understand it. Will that not like mess up your emotions? I swear people literally get rid of like their body parts. You're never going to be able to, you know, finger yourself, would he? I mean, does he pee out of the same hole? Does he poo out of the same hole? Is he going to lose his bum hole? Things have been really crazy with everything online. Well then don't post yourself online. That's the only way to stop it. I don't understand why these people are always like, oh, you know, like, I don't understand all the hate online. Like, everything online's crazy. Don't post online. It's not that hard. It really irritates me. It's like, if you can't take it, don't post online. Yeah, I mean, I feel like the first time we had this conversation was probably three years ago. I want to support you through that process. You know, I, I'm concerned with... He just doesn't look like an alien, boo, does he? I mean, what alien looks like this? I'm sorry, if you ever seen an alien with fingers like that? I don't think aliens get pedicures or manicures or whatever. I don't think they've got multicolored hair. I feel like this guy just wants to be perfect, if that makes sense. I feel like especially in LA, especially like socialite LA, probably the people he hangs around with, there's a certain way that they all look and that scene is perfect. And if you don't look like that, you get surgery to look like that. And I feel like he's taking it a step too far. The psychological effects of the surgery that it could have and, you know, messing with your biochemistry and your hormones because, you know, we mess up our biochemistry just a little bit and it can throw us completely off. Exactly. Like with transgender people, I think male to female, they still do have the testicles. They're just kind of like folded into a vagina. I think 
they still do have them. I'm not sure about. Like, if you literally cut your balls off, that would, like, really mess you up, wouldn't it? What happens when you decide that you don't want children today, but you may want children later of your own? Have you thought a little bit about that? Of course. Of course I have. Let's be realistic. No, you have not. You've not. There's no way he's thought about a month ahead. And that's the thing with people nowadays. Like, they don't think about the future. Whether they get surgery, doing anything. Like, they don't really think much about the future. I really have a concern about cyberbullying. And those are my biggest concerns. Just his safety. I mean, you do have to keep in mind, you know, if he does put himself online saying he's a genderless alien, people aren't going to, you know, give him a pat on the back. They probably are going to comment on it. Thing is, now with Instagram, there's so many shows. You can turn comments off, block comments. There's so much stuff you can do. I mean, obviously, like, it's not nice for him to get comments but I feel like he should definitely you know sit back think about it and then not do it I'm concerned about you know him changing his mind about surgery but the more and more we talk about it the more it actually feels like this is actually truly what he needs and wants I mean but does he though he could just be saying that okay so this was him before I think before all the surgeries the only thing iffy about this is maybe the eyebrows and then he went from this to this to that to that that just looks like Jeffree Star like I genuinely think he wants to be Jeffree Star I've noticed that like he literally looks like Jeffree Star. Right now we are going to Dr. Simone because he is obviously incredible at every procedure. He's one of those very well-rounded doctors. Well, let's hope that he says no to you because I'm telling you right now if he literally lets him chop his welly off and let a little hole for him to pay out if he's psycho. Yet again, it is also LA. Like a lot of them people do mess up their faces so there are doctors who won't care. They'll take his money. When I tell doctors my goals, they typically will like giggle, not think I'm serious, rush me out of their office, find like another excuse. I mean, yeah, but that is understandable. You know, if you do go to a doctor and say, I want you to cut off my bed and leave me a hole so I can be a genderless alien. I mean, if you, like, die and, like, 50 years later people dig you up, they're gonna see your bones and be like, yep, he was a male. He wasn't an alien. I mean, I don't think we've ever actually, like, seen an alien. Or maybe we have. And we need to go see a therapist. I mean, yeah, and I still stand by that. You know, you do need to see what a lot of times these people don't need surgery. They need therapy. It's not normal for you to try to turn yourself into a genderless alien. Sometimes I wonder how these individuals do so well for themselves 110 procedures and then decent car apartment clothes how do they earn that kind of money to support their habit i mean alan i'm with you i want to know how you get so much money so first let's start with why do you want to have this done um i've been wanting to have this done because for many reasons okay wait i just noticed something is he in a facelift not the doctor the boy or the genderless person i don't know if he's non-binary i don't know why but his face looks a bit too smooth that's the thing with excessive surgery like whenever you start to get it done you continue to do it and then like whenever your face looks too smooth it looks a bit too weird i mean i've never had anything done but i'd say my face is pretty smooth however his is like i don't know like iron smooth like it looks like someone's got an iron and went over his face it's that smooth but i never really wanted to be a woman that's not i think that's kind of an easy way out i feel that it'd be easier just to have like nothing i did do a tiny bit of research before this video a few years later after his video was posted he actually came out as transgender so he goes by she i'm gonna say he in this video because i'm not sure if he's non-binary but yeah just let you guys know in the end you know he transitioned to a she there will be a point when i'm finished with plastic surgery completely and that'll be after i have softened and removed a couple things but are you really because with those types of people they say oh i'm doing one more you know thing to tweak myself and then they continue to do it it just is extreme body dysmorphia isn't it it's quite sad isn't it because like beforehand he was a really attractive boy and now he just looks like you know a candle wax version of jeffree star now if you're creating a new type of a sexual organ which is actually the asexual organ we don't know how your body's gonna react to it exactly like how's your body literally gonna react if you get your balls chopped off i mean people don't understand plastic surgery is so dangerous if you literally get filler you know filler he's got a load of it in his face i think like 99.9 percent .9 of people are fine but 0.01 percent of people will react in a bad way their face could literally become paralyzed you know think of it all the millions of people are getting filler that could be like 10,000 people it could be you the surgical procedure that Vinny wants to have done it's very unique it's not been done before and many Many doctors will have to take to consideration the psychological aspects of it as much as medical aspects of it. Exactly, and I feel like a lot of doctors don't do that, especially if guys like him, you know, they kind of just look at them and then they're like, right, okay, you're giving me £20,000, I'm going to take it and do whatever you want. I'm hoping that this doctor's going to say no. If he's a good, genuine doctor, then he definitely will. My main problem with his procedure was that what he's going to think about in 10, 15 years, because all the bridges are gone, there's no way to come back to female or male. Exactly, like in the future if he like didn't want to be an alien anymore, he couldn't even transition to a female because like there's nothing there, he couldn't transition back to a male. I mean we know in the end he did transition to female, I think he had body dysmorphia or something like that.
something like that. But yeah, in the end, he came out as trans. And he's young, and now he has to live with it until he's 80 or 90 years old. I mean, maybe if he lives to that age, like, how old is he? He can't be any older than 23, can he? Also, the thing with a lot of fillers and plastic surgeries, like, whenever you're putting that stuff into your face, what are you gonna look like in 20 years' time? I mean, I know you can apparently, like, get it removed, but, like, not all of it's gonna come out. It's kind of like a water balloon. You know, if you pop a water balloon, you can pick up all the water and put it into a new balloon, but, like, you're not gonna pick up all of the water. That's why a lot of the people's faces look, like, so puffy. I personally love Venus look because I always like people that they don't look normal, per se, or what society says that it's normal. I mean, I can understand that, you know, be you, but, like, there's a difference between what you're saying and what he's doing. He's literally saying, you know, I want to get my privates cut off so I can be a genderless alien. And I feel like she's definitely in it for the money. Like, she knows she's gonna make a fortune out of him. I support Venus' transformation, uh, becoming a genderless alien. Like I said, if he's ready to do it, I will go with him, be by his side. I mean, of course you will, because you're gonna be making money out of him. Yet again, I'm all for people being accepting, but there are certain things that I don't accept, and this is one of them. You know, I do believe these people need to sit down, think about it, and get some help. And it's the fact he's literally got an agent there who's basically egging him on, saying, you know, I'm gonna be there for you the whole way. Nah, sweetheart, the only reason you're there is because you know you're gonna be getting money. I got a lot of good information from him. It's nothing, honestly, that I hadn't already heard before. So yeah, he's basically been told multiple times before, yep, I'm not gonna do it. I mean, what doctor would do it? The only doctor who's gonna do it is some random man down the back of an alleyway. But I'm really happy that I went to him because he couldn't have been nicer, kinder, and uh, just more gentle about the entire situation. Very accepting. So obviously doctors haven't been as accepting in the past. What would actually make him not do it? Do you reckon if a doctor literally shouted at him and went, don't do it or you will die? I mean, to be fair with a lot of these people, you can literally say that, but they're still gonna do it. Of course, I totally believe in aliens. There are definitely aliens out there. Are they here? Am I in communication with them? No, you're not. You're not an alien. Keep in mind, he literally wanted to transition to an alien. Imagine if an alien came across him. I mean, we don't know what aliens are like the Cadetas. They could squash us. They could literally treat us the way we treat ants. Imagine like an alien just like squashes him and then he like jumps up and like eats him. Well, anyways, that's where I'm gonna leave that video there. That is the person who wants to be a genderless alien. In the end, they didn't get their private parts removed. They actually came out as trans. So if you are watching this video, hello. I think it's amazing that you came out as trans and thank God you didn't do what you were gonna do. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're not, please subscribe and just I'll see you all in my next video.